From toys to titans, today we're exploring the pinnacle of speed in human engineering. We'll be ranking the fastest contraptions ever created, from the depths of the ocean to the vacuum of space. So buckle up, petrol heads, it's going to be a bumpy ride. We'll start with something relatable, something that might bring back fond memories of childhood. The remote-controlled car. Now, I'm not talking about those sluggish things your granny got you for Christmas. I'm talking about the real deal, the ones that would make a Skelextric car look positively pedestrian. These little speed demons can hit speeds of over 100 miles per hour, or 160 kilometers per hour, which is frankly ludicrous when you consider their size. That's like shrinking a Formula One car down to the size of a shoebox. It's quite mad, but how did we get here? Well, it all started in the 1950s with simple, battery-powered cars controlled by wires. But as technology advanced, so did the cars. We got transistors, then microchips, then brushless motors, and suddenly, these little things were zipping around like wasps on a sugar rush. It's a testament to human ingenuity, really. We just can't help ourselves, can we? We see something and we think, I wonder how fast I can make that go. And speaking of speed, the fastest rocket-powered remote-controlled car is the Black Knight, which can travel at an astonishing 210 miles per hour, or 338 kilometers per hour. Now let's dive into the depths of the ocean, a place where silence reigns and pressure can crush you like a tin can. You wouldn't expect to find anything moving particularly fast down there, would you? Well, you'd be surprised. The fastest submarines, these underwater leviathans, can cut through the water at speeds of over 50 knots. That's almost 60 miles per hour, 93 kilometers per hour. That's faster than most people drive on the motorway. And these aren't just small, torpedo-shaped things. We're talking about massive vessels, hundreds of feet long, carrying hundreds of souls on board. The Soviet Union's Alpha-class submarine, for example, was a Cold War behemoth capable of reaching a staggering 45 knots, 83 kilometers per hour, thanks to its powerful nuclear reactor. That's faster than most torpedoes at the time. It was a technological marvel, but also a bit of a liability, prone to breakdowns and reactor problems. Still, you have to admire the sheer audacity of it all. Now let's resurface and feel the wind in our hair as we talk about the fastest things on water speedboats. These sleek, powerful machines are the result of decades of innovation and a relentless pursuit of aquatic velocity. And when I say fast, I mean really rather fast. The current world record holder is the Spirit of Australia, a jet-powered hydroplane that looks more like a spaceship than a boat. In 1978, this Aussie daredevil skimmed across the water at an astonishing 317 miles per hour, 511 kilometers per hour. That's faster than the takeoff speed of most commercial airliners. It's hard to comprehend the kind of power needed to propel a vessel that fast on water. It's like trying to explain the internet to a goldfish, but it's a testament to the ingenuity of humans and our ability to conquer even the most challenging environments. Now let's talk about something close to all of our hearts cars. Specifically, really, really fast cars. We've all dreamed of putting the pedal to the metal and feeling the G-force push us back in our seats. And over the years, some truly remarkable machines have graced the asphalt, pushing the boundaries of speed and engineering. But the undisputed king of them all is the Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus, a masterpiece of automotive engineering that achieved a mind-blowing 304.77 miles per hour, 490.48 kilometers per hour. That's like driving the length of a football field every second. It's hard to even fathom that kind of speed when you're stuck in a traffic jam, isn't it? However, if we're talking about outright speed on land, we need to move away from the world of conventional cars and into the realm of the truly bonkers land speed record cars. These are purpose-built machines designed to do one thing and one thing only, go as fast as humanly possible. And they are an extraordinary sight to behold. Imagine a rocket on wheels, a symphony of aerodynamics and raw power, and you're starting to get the picture. The current land speed record is held by the Thrust SSC, a British-designed beast powered by two Rolls-Royce jet engines. In 1997, this supersonic beast blasted across the Black Rock Desert in Nevada at a mind-numbing 763 miles per hour, 1,228 kilometers per hour, breaking the sound barrier process. That's faster than the speed of sound. It's hard to even comprehend the kind of forces acting on a vehicle at that speed. It's like trying to explain the plot of a Christopher Nolan film after a bottle of wine. 
Speaking of rockets, did you know that some of the fastest things on Earth are actually rocket cars? These are essentially missiles mounted on wheels, propelled by solid-fuel rocket engines that produce an insane amount of thrust. One such speed demon is the Bloodhound LSR, a British-designed rocket car that's aiming to break the 1,000 miles per hour, 1,609 kilometers per hour barrier. To put that into perspective, that's faster than a speeding bullet. It's an incredible feat of engineering, and it's a testament to the human desire to push the limits of what's possible. In this chapter, we will compare the world's fastest steam-powered train, the fastest conventional train, and the world's fastest maglev train. The steam-powered train, known for its historical significance, reached speeds of up to 126 miles per hour, 203 kilometers per hour. A marvel of its time, it paved the way for future advancements in rail technology. Next, we have the fastest conventional train, the French TGV, which has achieved breathtaking speeds of 357 miles per hour, 575 kilometers per hour. This high-speed marvel showcases the pinnacle of modern rail engineering, combining sleek design with cutting-edge technology. However, the ultimate champion in the realm of rail speed is the maglev train. Utilizing magnetic levitation technology, this futuristic train surpasses both with a record speed of 375 miles per hour, 603 kilometers per hour. Now, let's shift gears and explore the world of rotary wing aircraft. The world's fastest helicopter, the Eurocopter X3, combines the speed of a fixed wing aircraft with the versatility of a helicopter. It can reach speeds of up to 293 miles per hour, 472 kilometers per hour. Now let's take to the skies and explore the world of fast airplanes. From the Wright brothers' humble beginnings to the supersonic jets of today, humans have always strived to conquer the skies. And when it comes to sheer speed, few aircraft can match the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. This Cold War-era reconnaissance plane was a marvel of engineering, capable of reaching speeds of over 2,100 miles per hour, 3,380 kilometers per hour. That's three times the speed of sound, or Mach 3. It was so fast that it could outrun missiles. Imagine that, being in a plane that's literally outrunning explosions. It's the stuff of science fiction. Of course, when we talk about fast airplanes, we can't forget about fighter jets. These agile, powerful machines are designed for speed and maneuverability, and they represent the pinnacle of military aviation technology. One of the fastest fighter jets ever built is the MiG-25 Foxbat, a Soviet-era interceptor that could reach speeds of over 2,100 miles per hour, 3,380 kilometers per hour. That's Mach 3.2 or three times the speed of sound. It was so fast that its engines would overheat if they ran at full power for too long. But if you think that's fast, consider the NASA X-43 scramjet, which reached an astonishing Mach 9.6. That's nearly 10 times the speed of sound, or about 7,350 miles per hour, 11,850 kilometers per hour, a true marvel of modern engineering. But to truly experience speed on an unimaginable scale, we need to leave the Earth's atmosphere and venture into the realm of space. Rockets with their fiery plumes and thunderous roars are the ultimate symbol of human ambition and our desire to explore the cosmos. And when it comes to rockets, None are faster than the mighty Apollo 10, the rocket that carried astronauts to the moon. This behemoth of a machine stood over 360 feet tall and weighed over 6 million pounds. At liftoff it generated an astounding 7.5 million pounds of thrust, enough to propel the Apollo spacecraft to speeds of over 39,896 kilometers per hour, 24,791 miles per hour. Now, if we're talking about pure velocity, we need to talk about spacecraft that have used the gravitational pull of planets to slingshot themselves through space at incredible speeds. One such spacecraft is the Parker Solar Probe, a NASA mission designed to study the sun up close and personal. To do this, it needs to get really, really close to our star, which means it needs to be traveling really, really fast. How fast, you ask? Well, how about 430,000 miles per hour, or nearly 700,000 kilometers per hour? That's fast enough to travel from New York to London in about 30 seconds. So there you have it. And as technology continues to advance, who knows what incredible speeds we'll be able to achieve in the future. Perhaps we'll develop spacecraft that can travel at a significant percentage of the speed of light. <laughs>